Unlocking Legal English, Understanding, Injunction. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we break down English concepts and phrases to make your learning journey easier and more enjoyable. Today, we're diving into a term that often pops up in legal dramas and news stories, injunction. If you've ever wondered what this term means and how it's used in real-life scenarios, you're in the right place. Let's unfold this legal jargon together. An injunction is a term you might have heard in the context of court cases or legal disputes. At its core, an injunction is an official order issued by a court. But it's not just any order. It's one that either prohibits someone from doing something or compels them to do something. Imagine you're watching a race, and you have the power to tell one of the racers to stop running or to start running. That's kind of what a court does with an injunction, but with legal force behind it. In the world of law, there are several types of injunctions, and they serve different purposes. 1. Preventive injunctions. These are the stop signs of legal orders. They prevent a person or entity from starting or continuing an action that could cause harm or injustice. 2. Mandatory injunctions. Think of these as go signs. They require someone to take a specific action, like fulfilling a contractual obligation or restoring a situation to its original condition. 3. Temporary injunctions, also known as interim or provisional injunctions. They're like a quick pause button, issued to maintain the status quo until a full hearing can take place. 4. Permanent injunctions. These are the until further notice commands. They're issued after a full court hearing and are meant to last indefinitely or until certain conditions are met. Let's look at a practical example to illustrate how an injunction might work. Suppose there's a piece of land that two parties, let's call them party A and party B, are fighting over. Party A starts building on the land, but party B believes they have a legal claim to it. Party B can go to court and ask for an injunction to stop party A's construction activities until the court makes a final decision on who really owns the land. This helps ensure that Party A doesn't change the situation too much before the court can decide, which could potentially make things more complicated or unfair for Party B. We hope this video sheds some light on the meaning of injunction and its importance in the legal world. It's a powerful tool in law that helps maintain order and justice by preventing harm or ensuring that actions are taken when necessary. Remember, whether it's a stop or a start, temporary or permanent, an injunction is all about a court's authority to influence actions. Thank you for watching, and we hope you now feel more confident in your understanding of this legal term. If you found this explanation helpful, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more English learning content. See you in the next video.